to show you how easy it is to use the silhouette. Um, what you see on my computer screen right now is um, the cuts that I'm going to make. I have these three borders that I'm going to do and I'm going to pick some more um, images to cut. So I'm going to click on my library which is all the images that I actually own and a lot of these come with the um, Silhouette SD. I did uh, purchase a couple extras, um, about three extra or four extra. There were some that were free. Um, if I see, like let's say I'm looking through my, my list of um, images and I don't see anything I want. Um, I can easily go to purchase online and it's like it's so easy it's almost scary. Um, but let me, I like this one piece circle. I'm going to click on that. Now you can see it comes up real big. I don't want it that big so I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to move it over here. Now I'm not a computer genius and I was able to figure this out so I think anyone can. And there you go. So you want to just make sure that none of these red spots are hitting each other so that nothing is going to cut on top of something else. So I've got a little bit more space on my paper here. The size of this is a um, letter size. So let me um, show you what it looks like to purchase online. I'm not going to actually purchase anything um, but let me show you what it's like. Keep in mind my computer is very slow, so <laughs> this is not my newest computer. <laughs> um, okay, so you've got all these different um, things you can choose from. You can choose um, by theme, which I find it the easiest to do. Um, let's just go to, um, let's see, let's go to Flowers and Garden, one of my favorite themes. And you'll see all the different images here. Um, that you can choose from and they're all only 99 cents. The most expensive I saw was a dollar. I'm not sure why there was one that was a couple that were one cent more. But most of them are 99 cents and that is just... Right now. I, love I have plenty in my library so I'm going to find something else in my library here um, and you can see that some of these images are... Um, this one is for sequins which I'm going to work on later but right now I'm just doing a basic letter size and I'm just going to pick something interesting here. Uh, how about this tree? Okay, there's my tree. Make it smaller. Now I'm not doing this for a specific project. I'm just fiddling around right now to see how this my works. My sheet that I'm going to, to cut and it will look exactly like this once I get it cut. Uh, now let me pause for just a minute and show you how to load up your silhouette and how it actually works. Now I'm going to show you how to load the paper into your silhouette. It's quite easy, although I did have a small problem because I didn't understand the directions when I first did this, so I loaded it improperly. Um, okay, so this is a, a little sheet of paper that protects this. Um, this is the mat for the silhouette. Now this is the thin mat, so it only cuts. This is only proper for thin materials like vellum, and this is um, computer paper, just from my printer that I'm using and it's only appropriate for those types of things. I tried to use cardstock on this and it did not work at all. It was very frustrating and um, obviously you cannot cheat with these mats. So you take this off and this is a sticky surface and the other side is, is smooth. And you take your letter, um, your piece of paper. Now you can do papers that are smaller than a letter size. You just have to line it up properly. Uh, I have not done that yet, but I'm, I know it will work and I'll experiment with that later. So you just line it up correctly on the, the lines and then you make sure it's totally sticking on the letter or the mat. Now it looks like I have a little bubble here. I'm going to pull this up. There we go. That is the key because the reason why these thin mats don't work for thicker materials is because they're not sticky enough. Um, because if it doesn't, if it's not sticking, then the blade cannot cut it properly. Now there are three different um, blade heads. Now the blade is actually in this black thing right here. That's the blade, and you'll use these different heads to expose more or less of the blade. Because I'm cutting a very thin material, I'll be using this blue blade or this blue head here, and they're so easy to put in. Watch this; you'll you'll just be amazed. Whoop! That's it and I locked it in. Pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm putting this mat in and it's supposed to line up with this second line right here. I messed it up the first time and put it in the wrong line. I didn't understand the directions that they had. And I just press enter and it sucks it in. Alright, 
And so we're ready. So now I'm going to start printing and then you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's cutting. It is, it's, it's very cool. It sounds very strange though. So I won't have you watch the whole thing, but I'll have you watch a few minutes or a few seconds. Now you can see how it's working here. It starts with one image and then cuts that and then it goes to the next one. And you can see how you're going to need space in the back here. You can't have anything blocking it because, well, you can't see yet, but the, um, the mat will go all the way through and it'll go in and out and it'll switch things around. It's pretty, pretty intense. Now something you're going to have to watch out for is not to put your fingers in here or have your children put their fingers in there. That would be very dangerous. I assume if someone's fingers get in there, unplugging it would be the best option. Then, when I actually use the type of material that I'm supposed to, I had awesome, awesome results. So here is one uh, border that I did, and here is a star. Isn't that a cool star? Uh, this is a bird that I really like, this image. I did it in big and small, and as you know, you can adjust the size to really whatever you want. The only limitation is that it has it cannot be bigger than eight and a half inches um, wide, which is too bad. It's too bad there's not a 12 inch one, because then you could really do some great things with your, um, your big papers. But the intricacy of these designs, I mean, look at this dress form. It is phenomenal. I am amazed. And then you can see the, um, the dandelion here. How beautiful that is. And then another cool thing about the silhouette is whatever fonts you have on your computer will work with the silhouette. So you can cut without those fonts. So I cut, this is a very frilly font. I cut my daughter's name using this. Z-O-E-Y. Isn't that amazing how intricate that is and so, so beautiful. So, oops, it looks like it's coming out on me. Really, really interesting, interesting designs they've got. And they, what's a really neat thing about the silhouette also is that they're constantly coming out with new designs. Now, when you get the SD, it comes with a thin mat. If you want to cut thicker materials, you'll have to buy a thick mat. But I'm totally getting one because um, I am floored by the results here. silhouette just finished. So um, I just unloaded it, which was just a press of the button. And then I'm just going to take off my paper here and show you how this looks when it all comes off. Now it's sticking to this mat, which is good, um, because then it doesn't rip. So let me get this off here. This is the tree that I did. And you can see, oh my gosh, look at that, how gorgeous that is. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this is the um, frame that I did, the fancy frame. Isn't that beautiful? There's a couple of pieces in there still. Let me get those out. How beautiful, isn't that awesome? And then you also have this circle that you can use on some type of project, right here. And this is just copier paper that I used here. You can see how beautiful it looks. I wasn't sure about copier paper, but now I'm convinced that it is gorgeous. All right, and see. Look at this lace. Isn't that beautiful? Can't you just see that on a gorgeous page? I am amazed at how pretty this is. Oh, there's lots of pieces, so I can't show you exactly here. There you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's get the other waste pieces out.